All right, so we were talking, we had been talking about kind of what you might think of as a simple investment model that really you can think of, if you wanted to think of there being a key driving force to that model, it really is the idea that there's an upward sloping supply of investment, right? And that's why the dynamics come about, because you can't, even if you wanted to have the stock of capital go, say, constant jump up and then be constant again, you can't build it all overnight, okay? It reflects the fact that it's cheaper to build the product more slowly than it is to build it all at once, okay? And, you know, you get a lot of reasons you can think about for that. You know, you need some kind of other goods, to capital goods to go in to produce the capital, that it's costly to move resources around, that there's, you know, heterogeneity in the underlying resources. So the comparative advantage idea would give you upward sloping supply. There's a lot of ways to generate upward sloping supply. But the basic idea is, no matter where it comes from, if I have upward sloping supply, then I'm going to want to spread out my production. I'm going to smooth my production over time to avoid, um, to reduce the total cost of production. And that really generates the dynamics as opposed to just, you know, kind of living hand to mouth on capital and just producing the capital whenever, whenever you need it uh, for production.